this one. Video two on the Zentradi fleet build here. I want to uh, do these side trenches. These have got to be. Oh, I, I attach these guys here. They're these little things on the front here. All right, so I'm just going to use uh, aqueous hobby color flat black. I'm just going to go ahead. down. There we go. It's kind of too, kind of too strong, actually. Oh, I was going the wrong way. Retail ship has these uh, blisters all over it. They're yellow, so I'm using Blue Angel's yellow. This is a Model Master acrylic. For the engines, I'm using light like, ghost gray, Model Master acrylic. I got these uh, pods actually on all three of these ships as well. These are going to be the light ghost gray. Now for the LST, I just added a little bit of flat light on a nice little acrylic for the remainder of the ghost gray here. Just make it like an off work that way. There we go. Model Master Acrylic Intermediate Blue. And uh, actually this is the same as Tamiya XF18. I'm thinning it with a uh, Tamiya Acrylic Thinner. And now yeah, the bottom of these uh, starships are all blue. And I masked off the side trenches, the two of these ships with, uh, yeah, it's Kibushi, and it's it's a poster attack. That's all it is. So if you're watching this uh, from America or wherever you are, you, we want to find out where I buy these things. You know, don't bother. It's just poster attack. You can find something in your own country. Okay. Oh, you know what? I. I want to block this off here. 
Oh my, I didn't even... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't recognize this at first. Uh, so I did do that though with uh, this ship, for example. And Britai's ship, I got the engines blocked off. And I just realized I need to do that with, uh, with this one as well. I guess you can't see that. Uh, you know, I might have to just do this another time. I'll do this later off camera. Um, for now, let's just uh, let's paint this guy here. So this is a uh, masking. I think it's like a one millimeter Tamiya masking, and then I just use the uh, like masking solution around here. See, so these are these are going to be black here. So. I remember uh, I read the Robotech novels when I was in high school, and the way that uh, Jack McKinney, which was actually, it was Brian Daly and James Lucino. Brian Daly, he, he passed away in the 90s or so. Uh, the way that they described these ships was like, uh, they, they look like these uh, green, monstrous uh, leviathans of the deep and such, and I thought that was rather accurate. description. So the, those books are pretty cool. I mean, the, 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 the anime, they, they never really finished what they wanted to do with it, but uh, the books continued and completed the series, and it, it incorporated a lot of elements, like from the uh, Frank Herbert's Dune and such. I never actually read Dune. I have it, but I've never gotten around to reading it yet. I really should. I really, really should, but I'm just busy doing it, reading other sci-fi books. Anyhow, let me just paint this. Right, it just wasn't blue enough, so I'm adding Insignia Blue Model Master Acrylic to uh, the Intermediate Blue I just mentioned about. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a lot bluer. I, I like this. This looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, and I happen to have uh, one of these little tester spare bottles, too. <laughs> so I uh, put it in. I haven't really used tester's stuff in such a long time, really. That's cool looking. I like this color. Nice. Let me go back to this one here. Alright, the battleship is going to be RAF Dark Green. This is Model Master Acrylic once again. Make 
sure this is uh, flat. Okay. Okay, next is the LSTM switching to Mr. Hobby Aqueous. This is bright green. Alright, I would not ever recommend using that poster tape to mask off crevices. You now, the, the wings of a airplane, a camouflage, that's fine, but it is proving to be rather difficult to get all this crap out of these side trenches, and I, I regret my decision. I had the idea of using the masking solution you know, because this one turned out to be pretty, more or less, clean. But, this, on the other hand, is not working. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Well, I'm having camera problems. So I videoed a bunch of stuff, and then once I took it off my camera, I loaded it on the computer, and a bunch of files that couldn't be read. I'm just, that does not make me happy. Anyhow, so Britai's flagship, I had painted it a uh, Model Master Acrylic Russian Armor Green. <clears throat> That's what this is. Alright, to recap, this one here was... Uh, what was that? RAF Dark Green, I believe. Right? And the big guy here, this was Bright Green. So now... I am going to have to do a clear coat. I'll do a semi-gloss clear coat and uh, get, get started with um, uh, doing some panel lining and such, doing a, doing a wash. Okay, I'm going over this with Mr. Color 181 semi-gloss clear so I can do a clear coat. So I'm taking a clue from the box here. See, it's like kind of like a light blue panel lining. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm laying down. This is uh, flat blue by Testers. This is like brand new. It's my first time opening this thing. I've had this for like I don't know, ten years or more. Just kind of put this into the panel lines here. Nice. Okay. Cool. Well, hopefully this is gonna look nice. Hopefully it's gonna look nice. Just wanna get into all those rivets, all these little indentations here, guys. Okay. 
Nice. I will uh, continue. Oh yeah, I want to see what it looks like with the green though. Because uh, it has the blue panel lines in the, the green parts as well. Nice. That's kind of cool. My crappy uh, homemade panel lines that aren't entirely early straight, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh well. Doing the same on the Britai ship. By the way, it's um the enamel paint's thinned out with Zippo lighter fluid. Removing the excess with just an enamel thinner. Leaving it in the in the recesses. It's turning out okay, so actually. Look at that. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this one looks kind of cool with the, the blue panel lines. Very different than anything I've ever done before. Well, you can see in the box though, you got a whole bunch of like blue and just like it's a lot more subtle on the box art, but I got a lot of uh, blue streaking and such. Looks kind of cool. I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm, this is what I'm going to do it. So if you don't like it, whatever. But that's how I'm doing it. So so there. It's a free country. Well, I, I hope this is not uh, a mistake, but since I put down the panel lining, I guess I'm ready. To, I guess I'm ready to attach these spines and such. <clears throat> so that's in place. Make make sure this is in place, though. It's uh, lined up. Ah, that looks okay. That looks okay, and I've attached these two as well. The thing is, is that there's like that's it. And, Uh, for this big one, there's not that many spines on it. All right, I got these these two guys on top here, and I haven't done the I haven't done the the panel line on here. But this is um, when I, when I smear it around, kind of it's kind of nice actually. I like how it uh, kind of causes a bit of uh, discoloration and such. Makes it a little bit lighter. That's, that's the effect I was kind of looking for. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. Well, this glue is going to have to dry. Uh, yeah, this glue is supposed to dry now. Mm. There we go. I think I'm going to try to find a dark green or something really to do on the, on the top. Let me show you the others. This one's looking pretty much okay, I guess. Really, really hope that the decals are gonna go down okay on these. So at this point, I'm just kind of just doing like a filter, I suppose. All right. But, um, kind of looks nice. Kind of looks nice. I, I want to work on this a little bit more, though, on top, before I add the spines. Ok, 
time. Yeah, all right, so that's this one. Then finally, here's this guy here. So this is uh, looking pretty nice on the bottom. Uh, I need to add a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's looking pretty nice. All right, guys. Hope this works out fine. Let's. I'm going to put a bunch of glue here. Space this out a little bit more evenly. All right, great. Now this goes on the bottom here. Let me get this out of here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, wait, no, hold on. I want this to be centered. Okay. Oh, I could use this as a guide, actually. There we go. Okay. Alright, that is in place. If I look at the instructions, I can see where the spines go. Looks like it's got a whole bunch on top, got five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. Some six. I got two of these. Wait. All right. Well, never mind the instructions. The instructions are goofy. <laughs> never mind. All right, you got the long ones and the short ones. That's all you need to know, guys. That's all you need to know. I did not do the clear coat on this. There. All right, I'm just gonna cut these off and then we'll uh, attach them. All right, time to paint these little pods here. I'm using Aircraft, interior black, model master, enamel. It doesn't matter what it is, it's just black, so I just grabbed the. Since uh, it was convenient, and I think my Tamiya black is getting a little bit old, I think I'm being low on it, I think. Great. All right. Now, enamel center. All right. Let's get some enamel here. Here. And I'll use this cotton swab here. And just wipe away excess. And now it looks nice and clean. So, all three of these ships have such little side pods for whatever they are, and uh, I'll just continue it, continue the process with that. Then I can attach this to the ships. Panel lining Brite ship is uh, I'm going to use Tamiya XF61 dark green enamel. Hopefully, this is dark enough. 
or I could go with black green. Yeah, no. This is maybe not dark enough. Maybe I should just go ahead and get some of that uh, dark green, that uh, black green. I want to get this like really dark. And I don't think this is going to cut it, guys. Uh, unfortunately, my last order, I ordered the 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 acrylic version of dark green, a black green, I should say, by mistake. I did not mean to do that. I really did not mean to do that because I already have a bottle of the acrylic. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I want to get this a little bit darker. I kind of don't like this. I'm going to give up on this and I'm going to go down. a bigger city the both of the local hobby shops in my small city do not have the color I want so I'm gonna see if I can get black green in enamel when I go to the the, the bigger city and get um, get get more contrast going with these these panel lines here yeah. Yeah, this is not this is not it's not cutting it. Plus I don't have this thin enough. Yeah. And I'm thinking I'm really thinking. I I, I might re redo this after all. I don't know. I was, uh, I showed this to my friend. He's like, yeah, it looks cool. It looks kind of like Tron. I'm like, yeah, but that's not what I want. I don't want that. So I'm going to keep like the, the blue in between here because I had washed a lot of it. But for the panel lines, I want to get this dark. So we shall see. And I've already put the, the, I've already put the spines on here already, unfortunately. I do like this though on the bottom. I think that looks great better than uh, doing a, a darker blue perhaps I don't know but uh, yeah I, I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna redo the top on this what I might do though is still I'm gonna use this stuff here and just make like some some blue streaks and such but the overall effect I want it to be a little bit subtler than this which means that, that the LST ship I might end up redoing that the panel lines on that one as well so, uh, yeah, this is not dark enough. And I don't want to use totally black. I'm going to see about that black green and see if this will make me happier. All right, here I have black green, XF27, and now a paint. I've kind of redone the panel lines on these two model kits and I'm going to be wiping away the excess next just barely kind of started here some of the blue though I'm keeping there because I you know I do like the blue probably gonna add a little bit of dim uh, dimples of blue and then streak them back that might be a good effect might be better for what I'm looking for So, um, yeah, I need to remove that. Okay, so for Britai's flagship, I went ahead and just used the black panel line accent color because it is considerably darker green than the other two ships. And let me move this up here. Yeah, it's 
Still need to work on this a little bit. Alright, so real touch marker. This is essentially black, but it says gray three, so whatever. I'm going to paint this here and here. I don't know if this connects. I don't think it connects. Just get the sides here. I guess that kind of cleaned up just fine. And I just realized here, I've got a panel line here to take care of. There. All right, great. That's taken care of. So, I guess I'm more or less done with this. Just clean this up a little bit more. Then again, I, I like some of the dirt effect though. Alright, uh, the rivets on this one seem to be much smaller than the other kits, so unfortunately some of the, the rivets are they're just not, uh, the paint's not uh, collecting on them after I wipe off excess, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. And I don't know, I don't have the confidence to go with my pin vise and try to make each one deeper. It's probably going to look messy if I try to do that. So... Alright. Alright, so... Shoot. See, I... Removed a little bit too much excess on this guy here, this triangle here. All right, all right. I'll go over, remove excess on these other kits here. Now, well, uh, Comgene has pressed start on controller two. So yeah, he has now joined the game. Um, I went ahead and bought this. It's been a few months already since I got this. Um, I only paid like maybe 2,000 yen for this, not much at all. So yeah, in the next video, I'll be building this, then work on painting it, and then uh, doing deco work, and hopefully, hopefully the decals are going to work with these. We shall see. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, as I said, let's be working on the, working on um, removing excess from the panel lines on here but yeah I think this looks better with darker panel lines um, some of the stuff I have left it blue so anyhow that is it for now so uh, I'll catch you in the next episode <laughs> the next video so until then live long and prosper may the force be with you so long thanks for the fish Bye.